everyone and welcome back. I am so excited about today's video as you can probably tell by the title. I am going to be um, well unboxing, kind of maybe doing like a little review in the process and doing a look with the new Kylie Cosmetics Sailor Collection. So this is the box. I just I haven't like fully opened it. I only opened it like this because I take ages to open it because it arrived on Monday at Greg's house and because I wasn't seeing Greg until yesterday, which was Tuesday, um, I um, couldn't get it until then. And plus, because I've seen him, I was, didn't have any of like my ring lights or anything. So I had to wait till Wednesday to film this. So I haven't peeked inside. I just opened it to, you know, not take like five million years on camera to open it. To open it. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't even talk. And I'm sad because the way that I like thingied it, I kind of messed up the Kylie Cosmetics part of the box. So I'm really sad. And I'm also really surprised that the box is as small as it is. And because it made me sad because in a sense, because it was expensive for the bundle, which is fine. I don't mind. But then I had to pay like £26 something. £26.26 or something for custom fees which is like oh no but it's okay like I know that custom fees happen so um I have been wanting to try Kylie Cosmetics for a very very long time well since she basically came out with her brand but um I don't know I just I think at the time I don't really think I had a job because I was focusing on college and things so I didn't really have the money to do it and you know like I kind of just felt oh I can't justify it it's fine but now <laughs> even though I really wanted to try it but now I have a YouTube channel it kind of gave me that extra push to just do it anyway so I'm gonna like open the box oh my god I'm so excited okay oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh okay oh wait a second wait a second so yes there's a thing wait I think there's billing information and it's on pink paper it's so cool it has her signature and everything oh my god see pink paper and it has okay I can't really like I'm trying to cover the address but it has like her signature there and then there's like a Kylie thing oh my gosh this is so cute good choice love these products you picked I hope you enjoy them as much as I do XOXO Kylie Jenner everyone probably got one of these like when they bought the collection but this is so cute and I'm like freaking out wow so I'm gonna save this this is so cool okay so when you like open it obviously it has that i'm honestly such a fan girl it's ridiculous so i'm really sorry so it comes like all protected which is so good i was so stressed it was gonna come like all like not protected so i'm gonna take the this type of material oh wait this is in a little packaging. so this one is in which one's this Ooh, this is the shadow duo stick this was just in one of those little pocket things so I'm gonna pop this here for just now. And then we have the Kylie Jenner High Gloss. Oh, it's all glit. The, those little red bits are really glittery and you can like feel it. Sorry about my awful nails. Oh no, I dropped it. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm so excited because there's the Kylie Jenner lashes. I'm awful at putting lashes on, but they're so pretty. Obviously I'll show them off more. And um, I'm just, you know, wanting to make sure I take it all out of the box. And then we have the the Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lip and Lip Liner, so the lip kit. And of course, oh my gosh, yeah. Last but not least, the eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, okay, that's annoying me because it's in the shot. So you get the eyeshadow palette, a lip kit, two, an eyeshadow duo, like the little stick thingies. I'm really bad at describing things, I'm so sorry. And the high gloss with also the lashes. So I got all of these things. So I will sh obviously show them all off. I'm gonna move a bit closer, but obviously as you can see, I did do my foundation and things first. I haven't actually set my face yet because I was too excited, but I can do that afterwards. So these are the lashes. I don't know. Do you need to have glue though? Because I don't have any. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't say. Well, unless it does say, but I don't have my glasses on and I'm very blind. I don't think it does. I think you probably will need glue and I don't have any, so we might have to just skip that part. Um, but they're so nice though, like... 
I don't know why I put it in front of my eye like you could just imagine it. So yeah, just pretend. <laughs> pretend that it's there. Um, so I'm gonna like try not to rip the packaging because it's so cute. Okay, this is the top, right? I'm so excited. I'm so, like I'm honestly so excited. I've been wanting to try this for like the longest time. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's like Kylie. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay. I'm just trying to figure oh I'm just repping the place here. I'm just trying to figure out like I'm trying to think of a look that we could do that would be cool. Well I mean it would be cool either way. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Let's see. Oh this one's gold. Cause I kinda like because I know that these were coming obviously. Oh this one's like a pinky colour. Unless I think that's what it's called. Oh wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. I was like, wait, what is this? It's just like the thing up. Oh no. So yeah, this one's in shade Rock the Boat and the gold one is in the shade Sandy Cheeks. I'm literally feeling like this video is starting off on a rocky start, which is interesting for the theme of this collection because I'm so excited. I'm just rambling on like tons. So I do apologize. We'll get into, th into some exciting things very very soon i promise so here is the lip kit um what is it kiss me sailor I'm so excited honestly i've been wanting to like try the lip kits for like ever so the pencil looks like this as i'm sure you know so well shall we get okay wait all right okay one step at a time megan it's okay one step at a time the eyeshadow palette oh my god it's so pretty look at it it's the same as the box but still it's still cute oh my god okay this the, it does have one of those little plastic things and then look how stunning oh gosh i need to like not like show the background my room is a mess <laughs> so this is what the palette looks like and then we have the shades come abroad no, come aboard. Oh my gosh. Come aboard. Captain Cutie. Um, tidal Wave. Blue Ocean. Shipwreck. Um, and then next to Shipwreck, we have Tight Ship. Go with the Float. Don't be salty. <laughs> I love that. Slay Captain. Deep Sea. Um, got the Blues, which I love this blue colour. Um, yacht par y oh my god yacht party not yacht oh my gosh um wavy unsinkable total catch and on board so i'm really excited because i love all of these colors i just don't know which one to use like i really want to use the blues should we do some swatches okay okay i'm gonna with the first one okay so oh so pretty so this one is come aboard which is this beautiful pink here then i'm gonna go in with tight ship which is another pinky shade whoa okay that that one that was this one here and that's this this one here <laughs> I'm, I'm not very good at swatches um, and then i'll do captain cutie Obviously swatches can sometimes look, it always will look better on the eye rather than you swatching it on your arm. Especially if you like prime and everything. So then there's the sparkly one. So nice. Um, I don't I don't think I'll swatch them all just because I think you'll all have seen them on Kylie Jenner's story. <laughs> um, oh no, it kind of like fell out onto that. That's okay. Um, which is the best place to, you know, see that sort of thing. Um, so I'm just going to put a, quite a few others on my arm the now, <laughs> the now, wow okay, um, just now, the very Scottish part of me just came out there, um, and then, okay, so I put a couple of different shades on my arm there, I can't even remember some of the ones I did, um, so obviously the blue one was Blue Ocean, um, the sparkly blue has got the blues, the red one is Total Catch and that shimmery one there is pretty sure that one was Shipwreck, I think. That looks like the one I put my arm in, my hat, my hat, my finger on. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, I will swatch some of the um 
I will swatch the other things too, obviously. Um, hopefully I can tidy this whole video up in the editing part because wow, this is turning out to be a mess and I really hoped it would work out so much better than it has. Oh, this is why I can't get too excited about things because it just turns into me making a mess of everything. <laughs> right, okay, moving swiftly on. Now we're going, I'm going to swatch rock, rock the Boat. Sorry that you can hear beeping outside. They are working out, doing, whoa, okay. They're doing work outside and it's very loud. That was so creamy and so easy to apply. Like I've never used um, eye stick, th eyeshadow sticks. I can't English at all today. I'm very sorry about that, everyone. Um, and then we're going to swatch Sandy Cheeks. Honestly, this is so creamy. So that's this one here. I'm so happy with that because they're so, so creamy and they're so easy to get off as well. Especially my arm. Like, it's nice and sparkly now, but there's not any, you know, residue on my arm, which I'm so thrilled about because I was very stressed about that. I will swatch this on my hand. Oh, that's going to be so nice. Okay, I will put the, the lip next to it so that you guys can see it together so there is the lip kit with the liner and the liquid lip which is so nice obviously i will be using that or should i use the high gloss though i think it depends which eye look i make i think that will be dependent oh my gosh this looks so juicy okay yeah that is so juicy oh my gosh this smells so good oh i Oh my gosh, it smells just like so nice. I don't even understand. Like, I don't, I can't think of what it smells like, but it's so nice. Wait a second, does this smell of anything? Wait, that smells nice too. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, the eyeshadow doesn't smell of anything, but the lips, whoa. But yeah, that's the, the high gloss, which is so nice. It's not like too in your face and it's like a very nice subtle red. Oh my God, I really want to use this too. And plus it smells amazing. Okay, I'm very conflicted here. So, right, hold on a second. Let's just take a second to calm down. Right, I'm going to prime my eyes and we'll figure it along the way. So I actually put a mirror here for a change rather than holding a mirror up. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier because I am very very bad for putting the mirror right in front of my face and you guys cannot see a thing that I'm doing um, so yeah I will I think I might do it this way from now on just so that it's you know easier for everyone to see and I also have obviously a little hand mirror for sleeping with sirens you know just to get in close in the eye just you know make sure I'm doing everything right so the beauty that is this palette. I'm so, so excited to use this. Um, obviously I've never used Kylie Jenner's formula. Um, I'm like a massive, massive, massive fan of the Car Jenners, if you did not know. And I'm heartbroken that Keeping Up With The Kardashians is ending. Like why, why would you do this to all of us? But you know, I understand too, but I'm very sad in the process because you know, it was my, like I loved it so, so much. Um, Okay, so I think I'm, for the base, I'm going to use Slay Captain, possibly. It looks like it's going to be quite like a neutral kind of base, which I was right. So, oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, so pretty. Oh, no. So that's like the base. It is just a very neutrally colour, so that works for the base shade. I'm not very good at colour coordination, so I'm just trying to think about the colours that would actually work together. Like those pinks, and then I could use like one of the champagne kind of golds. But I really want to use the sparkly blue. Hmm. I'm going to wing it. <laughs> This could go very wrong. Sorry, I'm cheating. I'm wearing pajama bottoms. Okay, we're still sort of in a lockdown. So not really, but you know, it's sort of, I still have restrictions. So, you know, I thought just be comfortable. So just ignore the fact that I'm only half dressed today. Um, and that red shade though is so pretty. Oh, 
this is so hard i was actually tempted to do one eye one color and one eye another look but that i feel like i just get too stressed trying to do two different things so i'm okay i really want to use come aboard so you know what we're going to use this one this one's like kind of crumbling a wee bit but like i don't know if it's just the way that the shade is whoa okay did you guys see that like whoa that is so pretty i don't know why i said pretty that way but it's so nice so as you can see i just put that i kind of put it like in the crease and above the crease like pretty much um the blue i really want to i don't think i can use the red or the blue now um or can i or can i that's the question so then i'm going going in with tight ship and i'm going should i okay you know what i'm going to do i'm going to put tight ship more like kind of tight in the crease underneath this kind of light pink so i'm putting it in there just to kind of you know take away from such a light pink to kind of like blend it out more it's hard when you have like small eyelash eyelids eyelids is the right word not eyelashes <laughs> well those two mind you but when you have like such small eyelid space and your eyelids are hooded it can be quite a frustrating situation i'm gonna actually move this light forward a little bit just so that you guys can see that wee bit wee bit better oh, i really want to place the blue i could probably put wavy or tidal wave like in the like in this bit a little bit well oh, that's me i like that i like how that's like kind of going um oh, i really 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 want to use the red and the blue i mean the red could work couldn't it i don't want to ruin it oh, i get so stressed in case i ruin eye looks this is so frustrating right okay the red could maybe work unless we put the red no that i think it'd be too much i think we just need to go for something different right let's have a think a quick thing right let's just blend this out a little bit we can make decisions once we've blended it out a bit more I don't know why I decided to aggressively whisper. Um, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? Just gonna do it. I put the red just in here, but just like a little bit. Oh no, I don't know if I like just the way that I did it. I think I ruined it a little bit, but you know, I'm just obviously going to just blend it a little bit. And then I'm going to, I don't know, wet this brush a little bit. I got that way more over on my hand than I was meant to. Um, I feel like I got it more on myself than I did the brush. Okay, hold on. Right, yes. I feel like Captain Cutie is going to be the best one for this. So I'm going to go in with this. Just, you know, obviously. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, this look is, okay, this is it. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. It hopefully picks it up. Good. I just I don't know if the light's maybe too too bright or something. Um but oh I actually wanted to is it this one? It is this one. The gold eyeshadow at the stick. I wanted to actually 
put that like in here just because I still wanted to use it so I thought but I really like the look that was on the Kylie Cosmetics Instagram where it was like using that and then just like the blue like just the the non the non shimmer blue it was really nice so I'm gonna blend that out okay actually yeah that's a good idea just because like the red kind of goes like on this side there's kind of a wee bit more on this side than there is this side but it's okay we'll figure that out um as we all know on this channel i sometimes i'm very good at doing that where you know one eye will turn out a little bit better than the other so that's the finished eye i will put some highlighter on or do you think i could use this as a highlighter you know what i'm gonna try it might work it might not so i'm gonna put unsinkable i don't even know if it's going on the brush but we can oh no i got the red on there okay never mind we will i didn't bring actually highlighter over here so i'll be right back once i've got some highlighter and we can continue this look so i got the highlighter um i'm actually just using the highlighter from the beauty bay palette that had like the eye and face palette so i'm just gonna i don't this one for this is called starfish it's from the coral me back palette i really like this highlighter it's very like it can be subtle and then it can be extra popping if you like want it to be so just gonna do that i sadly do not have a kylie jenner um highlight or or blush or anything which i would love because the um blush looks really really subtle and i always find it hard to find blush that's just going to be like a subtle kind of pop and it's always just like very vibrant ones and i'm like i'm pale i don't really want to be like popping like that so yes so now that i've done that i'm gonna go we should go and I should actually put mascara on. I nearly forgot to do that in a video one time, or I did, I can't remember. Because I don't have glue for the eyelashes, which I'm very sad about. Um, but you know, I can't really do anything about that because um, that would have looked really good. But I will use them in another video, 100%. But obviously look, once I've done this and put the liquid lip on, we can talk about it a little bit more. Um, so yeah. Well, I could always try and talk about it just now, Valet, because it's awkward watching someone put on mascara for sure. Um, I actually hate this. I really need to get more waterproof mascara because I always get it on my eyeshadow every time when it's like non waterproof mascara. Or I'm just really bad at putting on mascara. Either that, it's one way or the other, really. <laughs> Probably the latter. Probably. Um, so this is the Eye and Define Nourish and Care MUA. Um, so the MUA Makeup Academy um, mascara. I would have put eyeliner on, but I like this eye look too much. I don't want to ruin it. So, cause like, I do think it's really pretty in pink. So I think it's exciting. I really want to use the high gloss, but I don't know if it would look right with this. I don't know. I think it might look better with the liquid lip. I'm gonna use the liquid lip because I want to use the lip kit because I haven't used it before and I'm really excited because I don't know what her formula's like. I've only obviously used Jeffree Star but we don't talk about that anymore so. Oh no! Oh I actually hate this type of mascara. Right. And I'm awful at this too so I might just cut until it's actually done because this is like awful or I'll just speed this part up. <laughs> we have overlined the lips i always like to overline them a bit more on the bottom um i mean i probably should overline on the top because my top lip is like not got volume at all but i make a mess of it every time i just don't know how to get the shape right but i think we'll get there with time 
but I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, that's such a nice colour. I don't know what's happening with my hair today. Sorry, guys. Oh no, did I do it again? Did I make a mess of it? No, I didn't. It's okay. So, there we go. Oh, I should probably set my face too. Hold on. We will get into the tea real quick. There we go. So, <laughs> while my face sets, we will talk about all the products that I used and how I feel about them and so on. So, first, I'll start off with the Sailor Collect for the Press Powder Kylie Jenner. Um, eyeshadow palette i really liked it um this one was like i don't know if you can see it like it kind of just like broke apart a little bit but i think that's just because it's pressed pigment like i'm not too bothered about that i really really like the payoff of the shadows um because i had seen a few videos of where people had said you know some of her formula doesn't like pay off well so i was like a bit like unsure but i felt like they had like a really really good payoff um you know they they did the job um i felt like they were pretty pigmented um and i think sometimes for those types of pinks you kind of just want it to be quite just kind of subtle but no it, like it it wasn't like i needed a lot on the brush anyway i kind of just went like that and it was there like you know it did the job um obviously some of the you know kind of maybe the pressed shades for the glitter maybe need a little bit more um, but that's fine, like, that doesn't bother me, um, but no, I really, really like this eyeshadow palette, like, so much, um, and I'm so, so happy that I got it. It's interesting because I only actually originally wanted to try the eyeshadow palette. I was like, oh my gosh, because we have to get it shipped over here and it's going to be, like, so expensive, and then Greg, obviously, my fiancé, was like, just get the bundle, like, it's fine, like, just get the bundle, so I got the bundle. I was like, well, if I get the bundle, I can do a YouTube video on it and we can talk about it and have some fun there, which I had a lot of fun with this collection. I'm not going to lie. And the eyeshadow duo sticks were super, super creamy, like even just on my hand. So I think and like they had like such good payoff as well. Um, so I definitely will be using all of these, obviously because I paid for it um, in future and you know I felt the packaging is just like so cute and you know there's a lot of detail that goes into the packaging and um, especially how some of these are not glittery and then some of them are glittery and um, so I'm actually going to pop these back into the packaging because if I don't I'll probably forget um, but I really really like these obviously I didn't use both of them today but I wanted to incorporate it into this look somehow um, obviously the lip kit i really like the lip kit like the color is so pretty and you know it actually does make my lips look a bit fuller that i've actually like overlined them like it feels like a tiny bit dry but you know like what liquid lip doesn't feel a little bit dry well, the ones i have anyway have felt a little bit dry but it's not like severe that my lips feel like they're gonna fall off and you know but it also could be because my lips are actually slightly slightly the tiniest little bit dry themselves um but no i really like this color and the combination of this is so good and i really really like this formula and the package like the kind of designs on it how it's got like her signature and it's like blue and then you know like with the little anchors and everything and if you know me i love anchors i do i have a soft spot for anchors and obviously that smelled amazing and this smelled amazing too like i don't know if it will do any you know what before we end the video i'm gonna just do it i mean it may not work because it's red but okay no this is cute i think anyway okay now i have used the high gloss too so that we could do like a little review with that on my actual lips rather than i don't actually know what's happening with my hair today i'm so sorry it's just not sitting right at all today which is kind of gotten but like whoa smells amazing it doesn't feel like too tacky or anything um and i actually feel like it's quite a good cute combination like obviously it does have like a little bit of a red tint to it 
but I feel like the combination with the liquid lip is really pretty um, and it doesn't feel too sticky um, so a big thumbs up for that um, but honestly I cannot get over the packaging it's so so cute obviously I didn't try the the eyelashes because I mean I don't know if they're actually I don't think they are like stick on ones see if they are and I've gone through this video thinking that you need glue I will actually be sad well I mean obviously they are stuck there but I don't know I don't know I'm not an eyelash person but I really like those eyelashes they look really pretty and I actually really want to get into using eyelashes just because of how nice these ones look but I mean they feel nice I don't actually know the difference of how they feel for like all the other ones but overall I really really enjoyed this collection um I suppose the only downfall is how expensive it is to get it to Scotland well like the UK but that's not exactly Kylie's fault um that's just customs over here's fault um but no I really really love this collection so so much and I'm so happy that Greg persuaded me to get the full bundle because I've always wanted to try the products and you know I got to try so many more different things than just the eyeshadow palette if I did just go with my gut and get the eyeshadow palette so this is my look for the Kylie Jenner Sailor collection and I personally love this collection if you tried the collection let me know what you thought but I personally love the collection and I'm actually quite impressed with how this eye look slash makeup look in general turned out I thought it was really cute um, and it's just like really really nice so and I'm definitely going to be playing around with this palette more and um, because I love the shimmery blue and other things I want to definitely make that work in a lot of different ways so thank you guys so much for watching I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one